All right, come on in. Good, good. Okay. Clint, what's the best memory you have of your father? The best memory of my dad. I remember going out for ice cream and it's, don't tell your mother. We, we had a lot of those, don't tell your mother. Him with that big Christmas tree coming up the stairs, five-story building. He just told me I could be anything I wanted to be. And he was lying at the time, but it did come true. He puts me in the camo and the orange hats and stuff. He's like, that's my boy. <laughs> if I come home from a date, he'll flip that porch light. Time to come in, Ida. Time to come in. <laughs> and uh, yeah. At first, it was really hard for me to call my foster father dad. Then I realized that he fell under the definition. I mean, a dad means love. Love that never goes away. <laughs> I still feel him today, and he's been dead over 20 years. Describing my dad in one word is hard. <laughs> awesome. Selfless. Compassion. Just thinking about my dad, um, he's just been such a great example to me throughout my life. Once I started raising children, I realized my dad was a lot more right than he was wrong. We were so much alike that it caused friction growing up, but he was always the first one to apologize. When you're a father, you change from being selfish to selfless. It's, I think it's that simple. I saw this from my dad all the time. It's just how you treat other people is huge. He knew how to apologize, and I think that's a very big thing that a lot of men just don't have in them. They're just going to stick to their guns, whether they're right or wrong. And yeah, but he taught me how to apologize. He's still in my mind as, as somewhat of a superhero to me. He believed in God, he believed in prayer. You know, he gave me confidence when it didn't come naturally. I knew I was important to him. I hope that by the end of my life, I've become who my father was. I think that he was the perfect father for me to have. I can't imagine how much our Heavenly Father loves us when I know how much I love my kids and how much my father loves me.